Greetings, everyone. I'd just like to say that we really appreciate the honor of being the first Fiorello LaGuardia Memorial Broadcast. Mayor LaGuardia was in office from 1934 through 1945 in New York City, and for the last four years during the war, he regularly read the Sunday comics over the radio for his constituents. He became so beloved that they named an airport after him, and he has always been one of my role models. So here's to you, Mr. Mayor, and welcome to the first LaGuardia Read to Me broadcast. Are you offended by corrupt modern development practices? Are you tired of seeing small farms and other traditionally developed land resolutely swallowed by an endless succession of strip malls, fast food joints, and convenience stores? Are you angry enough to do something about it? Well, don't try this. Your brain is too small. There is currently only one big brain working on these problems, and that brain belongs to Augustine the Hippo. Watch how he deals with the worst that the land grab establishment can throw at him and rebuilds the great city-state of Detroit. But as we said, don't try this at home, because there is only one Augustine. This will be just fine, cries Augustine, much to the farmer's dismay. Well, I uh, wasn't really planning on renting out my barn, stammers Farmer Jim. That's excellent, since I'm going to buy it for this suitcase full of cash. Farmer Jim. Well, taking that money was probably stupid, but who's going to argue with a hippo? Augustine. Yeah! Of course, I'm aware of your reputation, Fritz, but you absolutely must prepare me a meal before I hire you. It's almost lunchtime. Surprise me. Well, Archie, your credentials seem to be in order. You can start the legwork tomorrow. Oh, and lunch is ready. Would you care to join me? Archie, maybe. What are you having? Well, Fritz, truffle consomme a la cayenne, chestnut ravioli with sauce bernays and cauliflower artichoke casserole garlic. Archie, no meat, huh? Well, I'm not really that hungry now, so I'll just move my doghouse around back. I guess this spot will do. Huh. First customer already, and it looks like a doozy. I'd better go form the reception committee. Archie, whoa there. Who are you? And let me sniff that satchel for explosives. I am Chester MacArthur, deputy mayor of the city-state of Detroit. This is a suitcase full of cash, and I've come to consult the world-famous city planner, Augustine the Hippo, on our latest emergency. So you see, Augustine, we allowed the Spielberg Studios to build part of the walls of Constantinople to shoot their mega-movie Theodora the Great, and now we can't make them take it down. Traffic to all those shopping malls is at a standstill, and what are we to do? I'll take that suitcase as a retainer. Come back tomorrow at this time, and you'd better bring the mayor. Confound it, I need more facts. Archie, you will have to go and examine those walls. Structure, durability, traffic flow, everything. And report back immediately. Archie to himself. It was for this that I went to engineering school? Allowed. Okay, but I'm hiring some assistance. Archie. You see how it is, Stellar. We need a complete structural analysis of the movie set. You get the overall structure from above, obviously. I'll sniff around at the foundations, and we have no official status, so be careful. It's all right. I'm armed. Just watch yourself, though. Huh.
stellar. Well, that's that. Every measurement conforms to the original walls. The structure can't be faulted. Archie. Huh. The foundations are steel reinforced concrete, all right, but hollow. It's rigid, but it could never bear a load. Oh, well, I guess we can't use them after all. A magnificent repast, Fritz, particularly the artichoke croquettes hollandaise. Now I need you to go to the library for me since Archie is on assignment. Look up Garbage Recovery, the Taj Mahal, Retail Demographics, and you'd better get something on psychology of politicians, too. Bring me everything. Very good. Very good. I think this job has great potential. Archie, are you crazy, boss? What can you poss- I never reveal my methods, booms Augustine. Now, Stellar, I need an analysis of irrigation possibilities for the big movie lot. Archie, you stay here. We're expecting the mayor. This is really most irregular, sir. You have no library card. You're way over the book limit and ee! Well, I guess that's okay if the deputy mayor says so. Fritz, madame, you will not regret this great public service. Archie. Suitcases are okay, boss. What next? Augustine. Fritz will take charge of them. Send up the mayor and keep an eye on those other two. Oh, don't worry. Fritz can count accurately with all eight arms at the same time. As I was saying, my analysis of your political career makes it imperative that you solve this problem satisfactorily. Unless you have any ideas, you'd better trust me completely. I can't give you any details yet, though. Mayor. Well, I'd rather not even be in the same room as a disappointed hippo, so I guess you can go ahead. Now, Stellar, I want you to watch the movie lot. Report anything suspicious, and be careful. We have some dangerous characters to deal with. Archie, I need half a million tons of rubble and all the landfills around here are privately owned. But no new ones were made when all those suburban houses were bulldozed. Check out some sites and see what you can find. I'm going to try out my new titanium bathtub. Well, I'll be doggone. All the rubble from these houses has been just left here, turfed over, invisible from the air. Meanwhile, Frenchie. Okay, take a leak. This looks like a perfect place for high-density, low-income houses like we built for that golf course community in Arizona. We'll get our power from Ohio and water from Wisconsin, bypassing the local establishment entirely. Saul here is comparing offers from billboard advertising companies for the walls. Hey, isn't that the same bird we saw here this morning? A shot rings out. I can't believe you missed. Well, at least you scared him off. Now, where were we? Stellar. Ouch! That was a big mistake, sucker. Now to report back to Augustine. Fritz, I just don't know. Why do I even try to save these small brains from themselves? And even if I do, will it help other hippos? We must have faith, Augustine. We do the best we can and hope for the best. Of course, those suitcases full of cash help, too. Oh, look, there's Stellar. You're living in the past, Ms. Mayor. The political stage situation is critical. If you'll just sign these contracts with conglomerated developers, we can at least appear to be doing something. Chester, it's you that's living in the past. These old schemes won't work anymore. Augustine is our only hope. Grrr. Ooh. 
We know you want to be Mayor Chester, and we want to help, but we need those contracts. Excuse me, Frenchie, that's my cell. Yes, Ms. Mayor? A meeting? Oh, I see. I'll be there. It's a big meeting with Augustine. I'd better go. Meanwhile, Augustine. Yes, Judge, you have my guarantee, and bring the paperwork. Okay, Archie. Fritz will handle the display from here. Stellar will watch consolidated developers so we won't be interrupted. I need to see the mayor, deputy mayor, local newspaper editor, and construction workers union rep, all at the same time. Get them here by any means necessary. Great work with the eye camera, Stellar. You'll find I've included a generous bonus. And across town? We're sorry, but the way it is, Miss Mayor, unless you come up with a more promising plan, we're converting the movie lot to a high-yield tofu field. And the motorcade approaches. Well, here you are, Judge, but this is mighty irregular. I know, Chief, but I believe in this hippo. His brain is so much bigger than ours. Archie, everything's all set, boss. But what kind of plan you can possibly... I never reveal my methods, grumbles Augustine. And the cast assembles. Thank you all for coming. I won't shake hands because I'd probably crush yours. This may take a while and I'm having a beer. What about you? Lon? Martini, extra dry. Chester, just a glass of tepid water. Buddy, chocolate milk for me. Ms. Mayor, lemon squash. Thank you, Fritz. You may have the rest of the day off. Before I begin, what ideas do each of you favor? Lon, the newspaper syndicate favors Monsanto's new direct growth tofu fields. Chester, low-income housing subsidized by the feds and wall advertising straight into our pockets. Buddy, we'll dig up the wall. Then we'll replace the roads. Mayor, well, I'd like to hear what you think, Augustine, before I make up my mind. You're all a bunch of cartoon characters, booms Augustine. Your own numbers show the loan interest for taking down the wall. Unacceptable, but this is too weak to stand as it is and the city people need to shop. You need a whole new approach. I won't support this plan, whatever it is, and I've got proposals of my own to make, cries Chester. Oh yeah, says Augustine ominously. But wait, uh, why did you want to return your books here? Because, Joyce, my dear, I'm shy around people. And since you were so helpful, I brought you some candy and flowers as well. I don't suppose you'd care to dine with me at Chateau Chez at, say, 8 o'clock? Well, okay. But I prefer the Grange at, say, 6. Across town... Garçon, another bottle of wine. I believe a Montrachet this time. The best vintage you can manage. And so, my dear, I found myself working for a hippo. Meanwhile, Archie, so you see how it is, Fred. It's a great job, but a lot of legwork. Can't you just try it out? Fred, well, okay, if you really need me. When do I start? I've been expecting that outburst, Chester. I guess you can come on in now, Judge, and just start up that slide projector on the way. I don't suppose that I have to introduce the famous Judge Wittershins, do I? If you don't mind, before hearing your proposals, Chester, perhaps you'll be good enough to explain these pictures. Chester, oh. How did you get these? It's impossible. I want my lawyer. 
Yes, Judge, those are eagle feathers. And as we're keeping the wall, that's defacing a public building. Judge. Well, that's it, Mr. MacArthur. Will you come peaceably, or shall I call Chief Stubbs? Pause. Augustine. Unless, of course, Judge, he says quietly, you think we can trust him to make a deal. Judge. Oh, yes, we can trust him. Aside, but only so far. Chester. Oh, yes, you can trust me unconditionally. Great, thunders Augustine, because we'll need bipartisan support on this. You'll be responsible for your party voting with the mayors on all aspects of this project. And remember, we have a lot more evidence where what you've shown you has come from. Now for my plan. Fritz, what are you doing here? Archie, what are you doing here? I have the evening off. My companion is the lovely Joyce from the library. Huh, well this is Fred. He's going to be working with us. But that means Augustine's all alone for his big meeting. Follow me, Fred. The problem, of course, is this confounded wall. Too weak to use, too expensive to remove, and it cuts off traffic to the suburban malls but I have discovered a way to use it. You may not realize that the Taj Mahal is a pile of marble-faced rubble, and we have plenty from those bulldozed houses outside of town. The wall will become the Great Detroit Shopping Wall. It's a vertical mall, totally accessible from the city proper. Savings on maintenance of long-distance water, sewer, and electric lines alone will pay all expenses for 20 years. Think of the profits. The walls, of course, are strengthened with rubble from the suburbs, but even you small brains probably figured that out. There will be no way through the wall, creating a rural shadow. Farms can be adjacent to the city, but still insulated from it by car. Topsoil will be sifted from the wall rubble for new farms. This will leave the other side a perfect wasteland perfect for paving over and making a localized suburban sprawl for those of you who think you can't live without it. I'm sure you have questions. Archie bursting in. Sorry, boss. I didn't know Fritz was out. I met him at the Grange where I took fire Fred. Oh, this is Fred. I figured he could help us. The silence is eloquent. Augustine. It's okay, Arch Archie. Nice to meet you, Fred. I think our meeting is just about completed, though. Well, Wittershins, there they go, and good riddance. Those people were getting on my nerves. Never mind, Augustine, you did great. Now I have the legal instruments to get this project started. Of course, you realize that I can't be seen giving you a suitcase full of cash, but if you ever need a favor... Understood, Judge, understood, and you never know. End of part one. Augustine the Hippo.